Map fans, welcome back. Today we are looking at how we can create 3D buildings with Ordnance Survey API. That's right, it'll be a web map and it will have extruded buildings. Brilliant. Although it looks flat, when you zoom in, the buildings pop out and this is surprisingly easy to do. So if you enjoy this video and you get something from it, please don't forget to hit like and don't forget to subscribe to the channel too. Let's get mapping. So this is just a quick one today and you'll be amazed at how quick this is. Fortunately with the API we have got a lot of examples which is nice. First thing you'll need to do though is sign up for access to the APIs so get on and do that and once you've done that you'll be able to sign in. Now I signed up for the premium data plan, you can sign up for just a free one if you'd like to and the way the premium data plan works is that you have a certain number of calls that you can make to the API per month. That is free up to a thousand pounds and then you will start getting charged for it. You can read more about that on the pricing um, but what I'd really like to see is my projects and see what we've got going on. Currently I've got one called Vector Tile Test and I'm going to create a new one and it's going to call, going to be called Vector Tile Demo. Oh, so inventive. Create that project and there we go. Once you create a project you will be asked to add an API to the project and the API I would like to add is the OS Vector Tile API. So I'll hit add there. And that is into my project. Now oh, I'm going to have to blur these out, but there's my project API key and there's my project API secret. Very good. You'll notice at the top as well that this is currently set to live. That means that I will be using my £1,000 free usage if I was to make an app that included access to this API. Now you can change it to development mode. I'm going to do that now and that will throttle how much data you can use. So you can see it throttles premium data transactions more aggressively down to 50 transactions per minute. Also read the T's and C's. You are not allowed to use this in a production environment, which I will not be doing. I'm just going to demo to you how you can set this up and you will be amazed. So I'm going to set project to development mode. There we are. Okay, done that. Are we all caught up? Excellent. Let's continue. Now with this copy button, I am going to copy my project API key. Sorry for the weird filming, but it means that I have to do less blurring out afterwards. Anyway, hit copy there and that should copy your API key to your clipboard. You might want to paste it into notebook or something like that just to hold on to it so that you can have it there for use when you need it. Once you've copied that, we're then going to go to the docs. Docs are always massively important whenever you're using an API or a programming language or anything. Always read the docs, RTFM. And on the docs, I would like to see the OS Vector Tiles API. There we are. And we can check out some code examples here. Here's our examples and we have got OS Vector Tile Display of Basic Map. No, not interesting. Instead, we're going to display 3D buildings, and this is only available in Mapbox GL JavaScript. And here it is. This is the code that we're after, and you can see here we have got HTML. All very interesting stuff. Note this part. Insert API key here. You need to do exactly what it says on the tin and insert your API key there. So I'm going to copy this code. I am then going to open up a text editor and paste it in. Here we are in the text editor. I prefer sublime text and one day I will register it. Don't forget you are welcome to buy me a copy if you enjoy this video. So here we go. Paste in our code. There it is. Very nice. We have got CSS sheets coming in. We have also got some JavaScript coming in and then we need to bang in our API key here. Now, if your clipboard was full of your HTML code that needs to be put in, then don't worry, really just go back to your OS window and copy that API key. Right, my API key is in, promise it is, and I'm just going to save this to my desktop. Now that I've saved this to my desktop, I've just got my 
internet browser open, I use Firefox. I am going to click on this and drag it in. Just drop it in there and shazam we're transported to london and we have got 3d buildings now this is a really neat rendering when you zoom out the buildings get smaller and vanish until you've got a flat map now notice i have got throttling on this because it's not a live project and so i am not using my 1000 pounds free per month now this is in london i don't live in london so i'd like to change where this map loads to choose a different destination for centering the map, I will go to the wonderful Wikipedia and search for Wakefield Cathedral, a very famous cathedral in the north of England. And here it is. And you should see that we have a location. If I click on that, it will take us to GeoHack. And what I would like is the decimal degrees where that is. Just going to copy those. Very good. Back in my text editor, I am going to have a look at the center. This is where the map will center upon loading. And I'm just going to paste those in uh, the back to front. This often happens. I'm going to delete out that one and just take this one and put it in front there. Lovely. Get rid of the extra comma and hit save. Back in my demo, if I reload this, instead of centering on London, we're now at the site of the wonderful Wakefield Cathedral, and here you can see it in all its extruded glory. Fantastic. Now what's happening in terms of our usage? Back in the OS Data Hub, I can have a look at my projects, and here the vector tile demo is showing as having 45 transactions. So you can keep an eye on how much you're using if you're worried about hitting that £1,000 free peak. But of course, I've got it in development mode, so that doesn't matter so much. If you're playing around with this and you would like to make a web map, then don't forget you can just go into a search engine, type in BirdGIS web map, and somewhere along the lines you will find create a web map with QGIS. If you click on that, you'll get to the BirdGIS website, and there's a series of videos on how you can create and host your own web map. Would be great to see some of these if you are doing that, so do let me know. If you'd like to know how to make your own building heights using LiDAR data freely available from the Environment Agency, then drop me a comment below. Or just use the API. And don't forget, if you make a map and you're pretty proud of it, stick it on Twitter with the hashtag birdmap and you could feature in a future video. That's all for now though. Please don't forget to like, subscribe and happy mapping.